Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Sea of Thieves. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find the vaults and like navigating yourself around the Shores of Gold Tall Tale much better than I showcased in my actual full guide, which you can still find in the link in the description down below. I'm not going to show you all the journals or like the end of the Tall Tale in this. This is just to show you how to save time by doing all the vaults really quickly, along with some tips and things that are new in the game that make it super, super helpful. You'll see. Now, of course, every single time you approach the Shores of Gold, it will most likely be from the southern end. And you'll see there is a giant rock on the left side over here. We're going to go to the one that is closest or the one that is the most southern point. And this is actually where the southern vault is. I'm going to park my ship right here and I'm going to show you how to navigate this place. Now, with one of the new recent updates of Sea of Thieves, we can actually take our own piece of treasure. I recommend bringing one to the Shores of Gold with you because you can bury this. And when you bury it, you get a map of the Shores of Gold, a actual map that you can take with you everywhere. So as you can see here, this is the entire map of the Shores of Gold Island, which is fantastic because previously I had to show you pictures like this to try to show you to navigate the island and it confused many people in the comments, unfortunately. Okay, so let's give you a quick overview of what this map consists of. So the South Vault you can find at this location, obviously at the South. The West Vault is found right over here. The East Vault is this little big giant rock area over here. And the North Vault is literally just over there towards the north. So I hope this helps you with traversing the island. But I'm going to show you some tips on like how you can like travel and use your boat to save time, especially if you're solo. Now, after you do all the vaults and you collect the medallions, the location you're going to take them is actually over here. And that place over there, you'll get like a special gold coin and that coin you'll take over here. So that is like a full overview of what we're going to do to just give you a heads up of how this is going to play through. So we're going to the South Vault right now, which is immediately at the southern end of the island where we parked our ship. And we're just going to go right into this little cave over here and we're going to deal with a puzzle. First, you're going to hold out your lantern and you're going to light up the braziers all around this different thing over here. And then a puzzle will, will start and we're going to have to spin these little blocks. Now, to make it easy for you, I've actually made it so that you just do the order of the combinations that I showed at the top left. So in terms of the blocks, you spin the first one two times, the second one once, the third one zero times and the last one two times. And then you press the button in the middle of the room and then you spin the first one two times. You spin the second one two times. You don't touch the third one because it can't be spun. The last one you spin three times. And then you go ahead and you press the button in the middle. Boom. And then again, we're going to go starting from left to right. We're going to spin the first one once. The second one three times. The third one can't be moved. So the last one we're going to spin twice. Just like that. And that's the combinations you're going to use. Press the button and the walls will come down, both the exit and the little medallion section over here for the shark medallion. So go ahead and pick this up and you can go ahead and take this right onto your boat because we're going to be storing that there. And we're not going to be moving the boat right now because we're getting ready for the West Vault. The West Vault, we're going to go from here. I'm actually going to use the boat, use the cannon, shoot myself across to the, the rock that you can see over here, literally west of the Southern Vault. You can't miss it. It's super close by. That's why I'm just doing this one on foot. Run towards the cave entrance, go inside the cave. Again, you're going to use your lantern. You're going to light the braziers all around here. Wait for the puzzle to start with the little like green lights and the little figures. And the puzzle for this one's going to be quite simple. Spin the first one three times. Spin the second one once, spin the third one twice, and spin the last one three times using the numbers at the top left of the screen to help you. And then press the button and just like before, it will open up both doors and you can just go ahead and, you know, take this medallion. This is the boat medallion. And because it's the boat medallion, we have to take it to our boat. I'm just kidding. Like, but yeah, we're our, we are going to take it towards the boat. And that's how we get the first two. The next one, we're actually going to go ahead and start sailing. We're going to go ahead and head northeast from the X marks the spot up until the east vault. So we're just going to sail our ship all the way there, right? So it's not this first rock that is immediately in front of us. We're going to the one that is in the distance over there. So we're going to go sail there. I'm just going to quickly show you here. We're just going to do like a little speed up, little time ramp. So once you get to the East Vault, all we're going to do is basically park the ship nearby, do a little sword jump dash into the water, swim there quickly, just at the giant rock. It's pretty much the same as the other ones. The cave entrance is right in the, the center of it or the middle of it. And you're just going to, of course, light all the braziers. <laughs> braziers, I don't know. I always sound like so funny when I say this. I, I don't even know what's the correct way to say this in, in my accent even. Anyway, the puzzle numbers for this one is the same as the West Vault. We're just going to do three times on the first one, once on the second one, 
two times on the third one, and then three times for the very last cube on the right hand side. And then you go ahead and you push the button. It's nice and easy. The, the room's just like filling up with water ever so slowly. It's, it's a really easy puzzle. And here you're going to get the warrior medallion. Now all you have to do is go take this to your ship and put it on your ship because we're going to be taking our ship towards the North Vault, the North Vault that everybody struggled to find in my previous video, which is actually there in the distance. But I'm going to show you here. Here we are just south of the East Vault right now, and we're going to take a route, and we're going to basically take our ship along this entire pathway over here to the North Vault, just like this. To show you this in gameplay, this is what it looks like. We're just taking the ship around the rock towards the north. You're basically gonna stick all along the land until you get to the next giant peak of rock over here, which is the very northern end of the island which the North Vault is located in. So you can see it's right over there. We're just gonna run up into that giant thing. If you follow the sand pathway in, you'll find yourself into the Kraken Cave. Okay, cool. So this one here has spikes, which is fantastic. But before you activate the braziers, you're going to first spin the blocks, which you can do. So we're going to spin the first one three times, the second one twice, the third one three times, the last one just one time. And then now you can use your lantern and light the braziers and we're going to press the button. And this is going to start a rotating spike chain, which is going to be very horrible. But before you press the button, wait for all the things to light up. You'll see they're all on the snake icon. That means you've done it correctly. Press the button, they'll all reset. And then the second part of the puzzle continues. Now you have to wait for the spikes to move and then run and jump. And I mean, stick as far as away from the spikes as you can, because those things have incredible reach and they have killed me a few times. Like they really blend right into the plants. So yeah. So for the second puzzle, the first two on the left, you have to spin them both twice each, as you can see with the numbers on the screen. For the second section here, just time it right so that you can jump across, wait for the spikes to go through, just like this. Wait for them to go down, give it an extra second and jump and get really in there. So the one closest to the middle is going to be spun three times. So this is the third one. One, two, three. And then this last one over here, you're going to spin twice. Just like that. Wait for the spikes to disappear and then run to the middle very quickly. Okay, cool. Press the button. You can see the, the picture on all of them has to be the one with the three people all holding up the giant square. Because <laughs> that's what that's depicting. Yes. And now you will open up this little thing here and you will get the Kraken Medallion. And that is the final one. Go ahead, go outside and take it to your ship. Okay, you should have all four medallions ready right now on your ship. So now our next location is over here. This is where you need to take the medallions. Now you can either run it across the little beachfront or you can try fit your sloop in the water that is right next to it, which is actually what I did. But I wouldn't recommend it for any ship that's bigger because you will damage your ship. But in any case, this is what we do. We sail north around the northern vault, just like this. So just sail, sticking to the left, and you basically just stick with the water on the left. Like every single left turn that you can take with your ship, you're going to take. Here's the part where I was talking about where you kind of hit the ground. I broke my ship a little bit here, but it's fine. We fixed it, and then we're good, and we park the ship here. Because on the right-hand side here, there is a ladder that is a shortcut to where you're going to be taking all of these medallions. So go ahead here, drop all the medallions off like this. This is what I did it. You can run it across the beach if you want. If you're doing this in a group, it's probably going to be easier. If you have a treasure chest that can hold three at a time, it will probably be even easier. But this is the path where we're going to be going. Climb up the ladder here, go left. I don't know why I went right here. There's nothing there. The, the, the little pathways towards the left here. And then you take a right. Like on this main path, you take a right and then you just follow it up until you'll see like there's a mast with like a white fabric on it. You'll see in the distance now over there between the two rocks and just follow along this pathway. You'll you'll reach the point when you get here. You just interact with the medallion, put it on the wall and go do it with all the medallions. And when you place the final medallion, the little room on the left with a little kind of picture of a key on the wall will lower down and this will give you the gold hoarder coin. Now, once you have this gold hoarder coin, it will also give you a tall tail checkpoint. And you can use this so that if you're busy right now, you can quit the game, you can come back and you can start the quest from your questing table with this on your table and you can just skip to the, the next part. You don't have to do the vaults at all. You still, however, have to sail all the way to the shores of gold again, unfortunately. And that's it for this video. If you do want to see the rest of the tall tale and also the journal locations, you can catch my full guide linked in the description down below. But this was like a nice updated way of how to get the vaults done and how to get them done nice and easily without getting lost because I noticed a lot of people got lost in my previous guide. So I hope this helps and thank you so much for watching. Bye.